Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, I have something really interesting I'm going to show you. I have this film camera here. It's called the Olympus CAF, and I will be shooting some film with it. So stay tuned. Like that? Yeah, and then. Like that? Okay, good, yeah. All right, and then the next thing is opening it. And then, and then, and then, whoop, and then you got the, <laughs> all right, but now, we're gonna, and now, oh, make sure you get this open, sometimes it just, okay, you just do it this way, this is the part, whoop, this is the part where things get, this might take a while. Alright, you got that. Hi, yo. This is the part where I'm a novice. Alright. Alright, guys, I'm all sorted out. Let's go. Thank you guys for watching the video. Um, it's, sorry it's been a while since I posted anything. I've been busy working, busy taking photos, you know, doing a lot of amazing things. But of course, if you have been following me on Instagram, like you should, should be following me on Instagram. I always post regularly sometimes. So just because I don't post videos on YouTube doesn't mean I am not active in any social media. I'm always active on Facebook. I'm always active on Instagram but using this camera I would say that um, it got me back into the feeling of photography again it got me back into you know the groove of using a film camera because I've been using digital um, though the irony is uh, that I've always used film cameras um, before I got into digital and even then, even when I used digital cameras, it was more purposely for uh, m photo manipulation on Photoshop um, and things like that. And so for me, like getting back into film was a great way of relearning about photography, but also getting back into shooting uh, better again. But I would say, first thing about pros of this camera and I will also say about the cons of this camera. First pro, uh, pro about this camera is the 
is you don't have to worry about focusing you don't have to worry about getting exposure you don't have to worry about all of that um, all you have to do is just set the you know the ISO on the dial here on the front of the lens you know whatever box speed you're using on your film and then you're ready to of course shoot um, and then you know it's, the focusing is very quick it's very easy most of the photos I've t taken the focusing was spot on it's, this lens is really sharp um, and I was very impressed with it despite this was probably like Olympus's first attempt to make an electronic focusing camera um, I actually have one of the other cameras was the Olympus Trip 35 which that's an actual phenomenal camera uh, without even using a battery though this does also take a battery uh, this takes a battery uh, as well not, not the Olympus Trip 35 uh, for the flash and actually to make the camera work as well um, you know it's very easy to shoot you know you just cock the lever back and you do what you gotta do and it's pretty simple it's not too difficult it's not like my Canon A1 which is like a true SLR where there's a lot of, dial, a lot of dials a lot of buttons to press and trying to figure out how to do all this and that in a third but um, I really like this camera I really do now for cons this camera actually has a major light leak which I think you've seen some of it well think but you have seen in the video where you see a bunch of light leaks going through I'm on the fence about it I do like it because it creates an interesting um, aesthetic to the film um, perhaps maybe I can experiment more with it maybe control the light leak maybe create some cool funky techniques with it or maybe I should just stop it and just fix the light seals <laughs> some people might not like that some people like it some people don't despite the fact that majority of people who use Instagram are using the same type of photo aesthetics on their films but I'm actually doing it in a film perspective not in a social media digital perspective so it's a major light leak um, which could be could be okay but if you really want to shoot like really good quality film I wouldn't necessarily use it if you do have a light leak. If you don't have a light leak, this camera is pretty good. Another con is that sometimes, I don't know what it is, maybe because it's not enough light or I don't know what it is, but sometimes if I, okay, it shoots sometimes. Um, but then other times, like, it, it gets stuck. The shutter would just not shoot. Maybe it's tricking itself that it, there isn't any... Um, that there isn't any light maybe there is something wrong with the shutter mechanism I don't know I know sometimes like I'm ready to shoot and I'm like yeah I'm ready I'm ready and I shoot it and it's like it doesn't do anything like right now <laughs> and so I don't know what it is I don't I didn't to be honest there's not much information about this particular camera that I'm holding right here I don't I don't know exactly you know what's the problems I don't know anything because Olympus didn't I don't think they even I don't even know if this is for an American market I think it was just only for Asia and so sometimes when a company makes certain products for domestic or foreign whatever it's not much information but um, I really like to know more information about this camera I really like it it's a shame that it does have some quirks for example, this actually does get stuck, and I had times where I actually broke film, <laughs> I tore film, while trying to either rewind the film back or try to change, like to change the next exposure as I shot uh, the film, and it it, it 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 hurt me a lot. But at the same time, I mean that's what you expect with having an older camera. You're gonna have some some issues and things like that um, and back to pros the viewfinder is actually I mean the viewfinder I like it but it's very bright very uh, big um, but at the same time it, it feels a little quite small I guess not as small as my Ricoh uh, camera that I got recently um, so the viewfinder is not too bad 
the focusing is pretty good, flash is pretty good, everything is good. Just the something about this part, the shutter, and like there's this part here that gets stuck and the film gets, you know, dingy at times. Overall, if you're just trying to get back into film photography, I would try to get one of these. Though I would say probably not because I don't know much information about it. It's, I, maybe it's a rare camera. I don't know. I did find another one online that was silver. Um, but I would say that being an Olympus camera, you still expect quality. You know, it's not going to be a bad choice. Um, and so I'm pretty happy about it. And it feels great getting back into film photography because it allows me to focus more, allows me to take much time into composing my shots and things like that. You can see more of my photography work on my Instagram and you can see for yourself on how I shot this thing. But um, yeah, so I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. I apologize if I'm taking too long. I'm actually going to try to get back into posting regularly. And I apologize if I'm rambling on and things like that. But if you are, uh, if you want to see more content like this, let me know what you're interested on. Since I live in China and I do a, a lot of things in China, I want to do more focus on what I like as a photography and art. So if you're interested, check out my Instagram, check out my Facebook. Links will be in the bottom of this video. And I catch you guys on the next one. So. Peace.